We're looking at a system of linear equations today, and all a system of linear equations means is that we have more than one equation, and we're going to try and find an ordered pair that satisfies both of these equations at the same time. So we are going to take this first equation, which is x plus y equals negative 3, and uh, we're actually going to solve it for y so that I can graph it quickly. So I'm going to take away an x on both sides, and I'll get y equals negative x minus 3. There it is in slope-intercept form. We're going to go start by going down 3, and it's got a negative 1 uh, over 1 slope right in front of x. There's your m, and there is our negative slope. And I'm just going to add some dots here that represent the line. Those are the whole number ordered pairs that satisfy that equation. And let's go ahead and I'll change color. We'll pick this other one up and we'll do it in red. Negative x plus y equals negative 5. So again, we'll turn it into slope-intercept form. We'll isolate the y. We're going to add an x to both sides. And that will give me an equation that says y equals uh, 1x minus 5. Five. So it starts down 5, but then it goes this positive 1 slope. And right there you can see that they have a point in common. They had this point right here in common. And so that's called the solution where the two lines cross. And the solution in this case is an ordered pair. They are always going to be an ordered pair. In this case, the solution is at 1, comma, negative 4. So when x is 1 and when y is negative 4, that's your solution. That's the one point that satisfies both equations at the same time. So let's take a look. Here's another example. And uh, you can see that this one already has one equation graphed. And just by looking at it, I can see that it has a slope of uh, up one and over four. So it's got a positive one fourth slope. And I can see which equation that's coming from. It's coming from this bottom equation right there. Uh, let's take that equation and just solve it to verify that. Negative x plus 4y equals 0. We're going to just add the x to both sides. And that gets me the equation of 4y equals x. We're going to divide both sides by 4, and that'll get y by itself, right? So those turn into 1s, and we get y equals 1 fourth. Uh, make the, maybe make a better looking 4. 1 fourth x, and that's this equation right here, y equals 1 fourth x. So let's take a second and solve the other equation. Let's take that top one, 5x plus y equals 0. So we're going to take away a 5x on both sides, and we end up with y equals, just one step, negative 5x. Uh, its y-intercept is plus zero, right? It starts at the origin, and right there you can see there's the point they're going to have in common. It's got a negative five slope, so it's got to go up five over one, and I'm going to go down five also, and over one is this really steep line, and where they intersect is the solution. So in this case, the solution is the origin, which has an ordered pair when x is zero, y is zero. Let's take a look at a couple others. This one's pretty quick because it's already in slope-intercept form. I'll do this one in green, and I'll do this bottom one here in red. So let's pick up the green uh, pen. Y equals 2x plus 3. Start by going up 3, and then it's up 2 over 1, and up 2 over 1. I'm going to go down 2 and left 1, and I'm just going to continue this line just to cover the whole graph and make sure that if you know my solution is probably going to be one of those points, and then I got this one, negative 2x minus 5. Start by going down 5, and then we're going to have a negative 2 slope. So I'll go down 2 over 1. I could draw the line. I can see that they are going to hit right there. Uh, up 2 over 1, up 2, there's your point. That's your solution. And uh, I'm not going to draw the line, but that solution is at when x is negative 2, y equals negative 1. There's the ordered pair for the solution, and let's try... One last problem. This one's got a pair of interesting lines. Uh, I'll draw the x equals 3 in green. x is 3 right there. x is also 3 right there. And anything to the right 3 
makes this vertical line. So there's x equals 3. And I'll draw y equals negative 3 in this purple line. y is negative 3 is down 3. That's also down 3. That's also down 3. And there's y equals negative 3. And you can see where the ordered pair is that they're going to cross or intersect. And that is over 3 and down 3. So the solution is at 3 comma negative 3. And uh, just for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and label these lines. That's x equals 3, and this is y equals negative 3. And take a look. Just by giving you two lines that look like that, they've already told you what the solution is. They've told you that the where these inter intersect, x has to be a 3, and there it is. And y has to be a negative 3. And the only way to satisfy both of those equations is right there, 3 comma negative 3. So there you have it, solving a system by graphing.